quote, the old instructions speak of the lofty tower of Babel as the place where language was confounded and Freemasonry lost. So when the neophyte being asked, whence he comes and whither he is traveling, replies, from the lofty tower of Babel, where language was confounded and Masonry lost, to the threshing floor of Ornan, the Jebusite, where Solomon's temple was later built, where language was restored and Freemasonry found, end quote. Of course, it can be found in shorter versions. When I was in Salt Lake City speaking at Preparedness Expo, Lindsey Williams approached me, shook my hand, said he had heard my talk, and asked me if I was a traveling man. I said, what do you mean? He says, do you travel? Uh, can you elaborate a little bit? He says, have you ever been to the East? I said, I understand what you're talking about, and I am not a member of your brotherhood. He gave me one each of his books. I gave him my book. He told me if I ever needed any help to let him know, and I told him I surely would. He not realizing that he had already helped me extensively. And now, by revealing this to you, I'm helping you. Right now. Lindsay, it's great to have you with us today. Thank you, Alex, for allowing me the privilege of being on your show today. Well, it's great to have you here. For those that don't know who you are, have been hiding under a rock, in just a nutshell, a minute or two, an abbreviated uh, history, tell us how you woke up what we're facing, and now you've got a lot of new info. You say you and your family are being threatened. You're going to be bowing out.